Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, elegant product slideshow, like this. So let's As get usual. started. First we need to create a new composition, and this is our main comp. Then create a new solid layer, this is our background layer. Now select the layer and search for color gradient effect. And change the color according to your choice. Now create a new composition. 2000 by 2000 pixels. This is our BG text comp. Now select text tool and type random text. Foreground color none. And stroke color white. And stroke around one pixel. Now we need to animate this, so move the text a little bit right side of the comp. And add a keyframe on position. Then go to around one and half second forward and move the position little bit left side of the comp. Select both keyframe and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Now go to main comp and drag BG comp into the timeline. Select the layer and search fill color. And change fill color with little bit gray color. Perfect. Now create one more new composition, 700 by 700 pixels. I call this cross elements. Now select text tool, and type plus sign. Change the rotation around 45 degree. Now go to main comp and drag cross elements comp into the timeline. Then search fill effect. And change the color little bit gray color. We need to animate the rotation the layer. So hit R for rotation, hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type wiggle expression. Perfect. We also need to resize the scale, so decrease the scale around 10%. Now duplicate the layer around 4 to 5 time, and randomly adjust in your composition. Cool. Now create one more new composition. 1920 by 1080, I call this dots. Then create new solid layer, and search fractal noise effect. Contrast 400, and Brightness minus 100, and Change Noise Type Spline. Complexity 1, and increase the scale 1000. Now we need to animate this. So hold Alt key and click on the Evolution Stopwatch icon, and type Time into 150. Perfect. Now create new white solid layer. And search CC ball action effect. Grid spacing 8, and ball size 15. Here you can see. Now select the bottom layer and change track mat alpha mat. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag dots comp into the timeline. You can decrease the opacity according to your choice. Now duplicate the layer, and change layer mode screen. And increase the opacity 100%. Perfect. Now create a new composition. 700 by 300. 
I call this small circle. Now select ellipse tool, and create a small circle like this. Now animate the opacity, so hit T for opacity, hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type wiggle expression. Here you can see. Now duplicate the layer, and move the circle, little bit ahead from the first circle. Similarly do the 4 to 5 time. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag small circle comp into the timer line, select the layer and search fill effect. And change fill color little bit gray color. Also resize the scale around 25%, and adjust anywhere in composition. Similarly duplicate the layer 4 to 5 time and adjust in your composition. Perfect. Now go to main comp and create a new full HD comp. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line, and resize according to the comp. Now go to main comp and drag placeholder 1 comp into the timer line. We need to animate the position, so move layer right side of the comp. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on position, then go to one and half second forward, and move the image. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. We also need to animate the scale little bit. So go to around one second and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to few seconds forward and change the scale 110%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a new composition. 2000 by 2000 pixels. I call this box mat. Now select rectangle tool. Fill color white, and create a square like this. Now hit T for opacity, and add a keyframe. And change opacity 0%. Then go to around 1 second forward, and change opacity 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now duplicate the layer, and align the second square with first square. Now again duplicate the both layers and align them. Again duplicate all layers and align them. We need to cover the whole composition with square shape. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust the squares in composition, our comp look like this. Now we need to offset the all layers, like this. So again I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust all layers our comp look like this. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag box mat into the timer line. Select placeholder layer and change track mat alpha mat. You can resize the box mat layer, and adjust over the placeholder.
cool. One more thing duplicate the placeholder layer, and change layer mode soft light. We don't need all these keyframes so delete them, and align center of the com. Also resize the layer, and rotate the layer around minus 5 degree. Now animate the opacity, go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity, and change amount 0%, then go to around 1.5 second forward, change the amount 100%. Also move the layer few frame forward. Now we need to add some text here. So create a new composition. 1000 by 1000 pixels. I call this big text 1. Select text tool and type any alphabet. Now animate this, so open text layer. Go to animate, and select character offset. We don't need these two things so delete them. And change character offset 10. Now open range selector 1. Then advanced. Change shape ramp up. Ease high and ease low 50%. Go to first frame. And add a keyframe on start. Then go to 8 second forward. And change start 100%. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag big text 1 comp into the timeline. Select the layer and search fill effect, and change your color. Now we need to animate this. So hit P for position, and shift T for opacity. Go to first frame and add a keyframe and change opacity 0%, and move the text a little bit right side of the comp. Then go to 1 and half second forward, and move the position little bit left side of the comp. And opacity 100%. Select both position keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. We need to change the layer mode color burn. We also need to apply the drop shadow effect on our text. So open big text comp, select the layer, and search drop shadow effect. You can also change your text color. Change shadow color with text color and change the distance around 50. Now go to main comp. Here you can see. Now you can delete this fill effect. Perfect. Now we need to add our text here. So go to project window and create a new full HD comp. And I call this text 1. Now select text tool and type your text. Now we need to animate this, so open text layer. Go to animate and select enable per character 3D, position, opacity, and blur. Change Z position around 300. Opacity 0%. And blur 30. Now open range selector 1. Then advanced, change shape ramp up. And randomize order on. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%. Then go to 2 second forward, and change offset amount 100%.
perfect. Now duplicate the layer, and change your text. Cool. Go to main comp and drag text one comp into the timeline, and adjust top side of the comp. You can also change the text color according to you. Perfect. Now create an adjustment layer. Select the layer and search transform effect and increase scale amount 150%. Now search tint effect, and change the black color with any color. Now select rectangle shape tool, and create a mask like this. Also trim the layer from both side, and move the layer around 3 second forward. Now duplicate the layer, and move few frame forward, and also adjust the mask. Again duplicate the layer 2 to 3 time, and adjust your mask. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Perfect. Now create one more composition. This is our lightly comp. Now create a new solid layer. And search fractal noise effect. Contrast 250. Brightness minus 60. And complexity 1. And increase the scale 1200%. Now we need to animate this. So hold ALT key and click on stopwatch icon, and type time into 200. Cool. Now select the layer and search tint effect. And change white color with any color. Now go to main comp and drag lightly comp into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. You can change the color according to you. Here you can see. Now create new adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Then search vibrance effect. And change both amount 10. Then search on sharp mask effect. And increase radius 5. Perfect. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.